Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Gloomhaven Guildmaster. As the Night Shroud has reached level 2, we've got the story quest for the Night Shroud, so we're gonna unlock those. Now, the Night Shroud is firmly part of the team. He's indicated he wants to research some of the rarer enemies to be found around the land. Uh, how does he want to research them? By killing them and dissecting their corpses, of course. Oh, that kind of research. Yes. First, he's suggesting heading to the pyre to collect spirit ectoplasm. Okay, we can we can definitely do that. Ooh, okay. The Night Shroud wants to investigate the residue left behind when living spirits are destroyed. We need to kill two living spirit elites to win and reach the dungeon exit with both of our mercenaries. We lose if the Night Shroud is exhausted. So we've got living corpse elites, living bones, bone rages, bone, yeah. All right, this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. We don't really have enough gold to do any card upgrades. So let's just have a look and see what this is like as is. With the darkness of night drawing ever closer, you scan your surroundings for shelter from that which lurks within the shadows. You notice a light emanating from a nearby cave and decide to investigate. Cautiously moving towards the light, you find that the cave uh, inside the cave sits a lone orchid in meditation, who seems oblivious to your presence. The glow from large crystals on her skin illuminate the entirety of the cave. You see paintings on the cave walls that appear to depict previous quests you've undertaken. Even the very journey you took to this cave, next to the orchid lies some chalk, rations and a bag of coins. Oh, uh, well, we're going to take the coins. Always take the coins. The light shining from the orchid's crystals is almost blinding as you edge your way closer and closer to the bag of coins. And as you carefully lift up the bag as quietly as you can, you notice a faint drawing on the floor of you taking it, and the bolt of lightning hitting you. You wake up on the floor of the cave the next morning, somewhat singed. Thankfully, you're still in one piece, and even still have the coins, along with the worst headache you've ever had. So, we're going to suffer two damage and be muddled. It didn't actually say we got coins from it, though, so I suspect that uh, that's, yeah, slightly bugged. After you initially cleared the pyre and your previous visit, the guards stationed here have uh, kept to the main structure, afraid the sounds emanating from the outbuildings and dusty tombs in the area. The night shroud leads the party out of the pyre towards a rarely visited crypt nearby, striding unafraid through minor dust storm. He pulls aside some rubble across the entrance and squeezes through the newly formed gap into the darkness below. You follow, not quite knowing what to expect, and after following many twisting and turning passages, the corridor opens out onto what seems to be a major burial chamber. Initially it seems empty, then strange ghostly forms begin to rise out of the sarcophagi, and then suddenly the door behind you slams shut. Um, hmm. I think we'll try for layabout, but it's not really likely as the saw bones. And uh, we'll go for hunter with the night round because we know we're going to have to kill elite monsters anyway. This is unfortunate. We're a long way underground. Yeah, there's a lot of corridors to pass through until we see daylight again. But we must also kill enough living spirits on the way to ensure the Night Shroud recovers enough research. Okay, this is, um, yeah. There's two living spirit elites in this room, so that's a pretty good start. We haven't started with any damage, so at least that's not that much of an issue. We we'll move the sword bones to here, and I think we want to get the wounds out with bloody saw quickly. So getting in a little bit and getting bloody saw off would be very handy. This guy I'm not too worried about. We can we can kill him outright. In fact, we can we can kill the Bone Ranger outright as well. Let's Let's say Cloak of Shade will attack and get like poison off. Which would be nice and handy. 
but we need something that's going to move us in a bit closer. Doom Breeze. Okay, so standard opening fair for the Night Shroud, and that's going to focus on the Bone Ranger. And then following turn, we'll kill one of them with our ability. Over on the Sawbones, we want to, to get the wound on him as quickly as possible. So maybe we go in with Precaution and Bloody Saw and just try and do it quick. Okay, Living Corpse is just going to gradually kill itself. The Bone Ranger is going to be a problem. That's a lot of damage he's putting out. So let's step into here. The muddling disadvantage is a pain, but it's fine. Uh, you know what, let's, let's undo that. We'll leave the Major Stamina Potion for this turn. What are you doing? You're moving four and attacking. Yeah, well, I need to split that damage. Get into here. Curse you. It's a little painful, but it's fine. Mm, that's more painful. Definitely not liking that. Okay, we'll kill you straight next turn. So that's going to be Spirit of the Night. And then I think we really want to... I mean, we'd love to be invisible if we could. Uh, but we'll do Dancing Shadows so that things get disadvantaged attacking us. And Spirit of the Night just to get it killed. Over here... Because you've moved away, that is... That is annoying. Regenerative tissue will work for us. It would be fine, it'd be good. Booster shot would heal you though. And that's probably more useful immediately. So let's say booster shot and something that's a little bit slower, maybe... Actually, let's go Prevention is key and hold back the pain. That'll allow us to get a little bit of healing off and just, just time things down a bit. That Bone Ranger, oh my god, he's doing so much damage. Maybe we killed Bone Ranger. Yeah. Okay. So, change of plan. Uh, although you're going to... No. Not change a plan. Stick to the original plan. Get you killed. And we'll get the Spirit of the Night back. And we'll use it again next turn. Ooh, we're not quite close enough. Okay, fine. We'll have to do it on us. And then kind of get in the way. Although we could have we could have switched that around anyway. Okay, let's uh let's get bloody saw back and 
prevention is key. Very painful. We will burn black knives. Oh, this is a bad turn. We'll burn uh, empowering void. I handled that so badly. Okay, you're gonna die so we can ignore you. Uh, we need syringe on this guy and bloody saw, or we need to move on to, yeah, let's, um, let's say triage. Prevention is key in triage, will get us over here and killing that. We'll do Wings of the Night and... Spirit of the Night to kill you. And this thing is, yeah, he's doing ranged attacks, which we don't like. So come on over. Disarm him. And actually go onto this space. Get him killed. Okay, now we can do syringe and bloody saw over here. Or we we do syringe and booster shot to get some healing out. Smoke set for Silent Force will try and get a little bit of money. Sawbones definitely needs to be doing the uh, the old tanking. Okay, bloody sword will do very nicely on him. And we could put regenerative tissue on on our friend. Need to be adjacent for it though. You're gonna have to do a long rest, so we're not gonna do that this turn. It's fine. What will uh We'll use hand of the surgeon and make it work that way. So either we go for the big hit or we go for the slightly less big hit and a wound. And I think the slightly less big hit and a wound is the right choice. And then we can just kind of act as a blocker, get in the way. Painful, but it's fine. Okay, we will lose Wings of the Night. Okay, vaccine and regenerative tissue will heal up um, and that'll be good for us. And over this side, I think we need to push... Oh my god, we've got so far to go. Maybe it would be better to, to start grabbing money. Hypothetically... We could use smoke step to generate dark, then next turn we move in with cloak of shade and be invisible. We've got to reach the exit with both of them. And we lose if the night shroud's exhausted. 
Losing Empowering Void is actually pretty, pretty sucky because we could have turned that into a move 12. We could have turned this into a move 12. Both of, both of them could have been very, very useful. Dancing Shadows will move us in. And Doomed Breeze would potentially let us curse something. Let's try and keep moving forwards. Okay. Bone Ranger Elite. Definitely don't like that. Skip the attack. Let's try and at least get next to that Bone Ranger Elite. It's range 4 attack. That's going to be so painful. Very painful. Alright. Hmm. Do we put the regen on him now? I think we need to to heal ourselves up. not dead 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 but we're gonna have to work hard at this okay it's gonna have to be prevention is key and triage we need to get in and potentially disarm something I think we're gonna need cloak of shade and Spirit of the Night could be used to kill you, but we're going to have to save it for another thing. Maybe Silent Force. Just to move in a bit. Okay, he's going to shield and heal, so we can ignore him. Bone Range Relief is the one that we need to, uh, to disarm. So when we come, prevention is key. We'll just move up to here like this. So we are we are running for it now. Uh, precaution, give him a medical pack, and also. Booster shot. Do what we can. Smoke step spirit of the night. If we step back and kill him, then we don't need to worry about him. Alternatively, we get an attack four on this guy. That was all right. Okay, I'll take it. Now would be a good time to do the regenerative tissue. Oh, 
Oh, a syringe doesn't need us to be right next to it. Mm, that's potentially very useful. Okay, syringe in hand of the surgeon will allow the sore bones to clear this bit. Uh, we'll do a long rest on the night shroud. So, a hand of the surgeon. I mean, it's. I really want to hit both of them with it, but this is the right call to make. Get him killed. Get him stunned. Yeah, if I'd done it the other way around, I would be really annoyed. Okay, and we will lose Sai. Hmm. They're all good for movement. That's the thing, they're all good for movement, and we do need to keep moving. Smoke step is more situational for movement, though. It's move three sometimes. Okay, we'll do uh, vaccine and hold back the pain over here. Dancing shadows will get us moving in and opening the door. One, two, three, and then potentially moving on. But we could also just use the medical pack, like now, and do something that's going to move us only two, like Spirit of the Night. So let's go a little bit slower. And we'll, we'll pretty much ignore this guy. Could re-poison him though. Get a little bit of experience for it. Okay, step in. Medical pack, there's the healing. Okay, short rest. Mm, don't want to lose that. Did not want to lose triage, but I guess we're going to have to. Because triage is our big movement. Okay, what we'll do... If we do precaution, uh, that will get the shield on for the moment. Actually, okay, you've only got four four cards, so giving you anything other than just a bit of a sh uh, shift. Yeah, giving you a medical pack isn't going to extend your duration in the area. So, shield effect all allies. And then it's just what do we want to use for the movement. Hold back the pain. Hand of the Surgeon. Open the door. Okay, this is fine. What are you doing? Attack 6, push 1, suffering a damage, but he's not moving. So we can move in. And um, what's uh, this guy doing? Attack 2, range 4, but he's also not moving. So that's good. So we can step next to him and get a curse on him.
Okay, Dark is not there, but we can do Cloak of Shade and Silent Force and do a bit of fighting and a bit of moving. I think we want to keep moving quickly, but we'll do Syringe and Vaccine. So what are you doing? Attack 2, range 4, attack 2, range 4. So hitting you a bit, but not poisoning. And then backing up. I wonder how deadly the next room is. Let's just go to there for now. Ah, oh, that's... It's an adjacent allied mercenary. I misread that. Okay. Uh, undo that for the moment. Yeah, I thought he might get in the way. That's a pain. Painful. That's not so bad. Okay, regenerative tissue will heal us up. And booster shot will... Yeah, I don't like it. I kind of need to be here so that he steps one closer. So let's say prevention is key and hold back the pain and we'll move across. I think it's going to have to be a short rest up the back. Dancing shadows and doomed breeze get us in there and see what we're dealing with. Looks like the exit. Don't leave anyone behind. Yeah, of course not. They're not moving, so at least there's that. This guy is going to do a bit of healing, so probably... And a little bit of movement. Yeah, if we come over here. Sawbones. Uh, geez, he's, he's move zero is so frustrating. Just step over to the side. We're going to have to wait until the following turn. That is so painful, and now we've got no way through. I don't think we're going to be able to make it. I think the Sawbones is uh, it's kind of stuck where he is. Uh, at which point that means we're going to want to get as much gold as possible, really. So, step to here. Regenerative tissue. And this guy is at least moving a little bit. But this is going to be painful. Um, actually, let's undo that. Let's um, let's do the booster shot. Ah, uh, one adjacent allies active area. Yeah, we can't do that. Oh, 
Oh, so painful. Uh, it's going to have to be two discarded cards. At this point, we just want to grab as much as we can. Short rest. Uh, prevention is key, and hand at the surgeon will uh, no uh, booster shot. We'll step in here and disarm all of them. We can't do anything except a long rest over the back because we just don't have the cards for it. So step into here, we'll get the disarm. And he's going to fall unconscious anyway, so... Let's feel that pain coming in, and all that for only nine gold. Still, we have learned important things about this. Night Shroud is exhausted. Um, and, yeah, we'll... Uh, we'll do what we can down here. If we kill one, we might be able to still get a little bit of money. Not quite. <laughs> to be fair, we had some very bad turns early on. Um, I should have respected those elite uh, spirits a lot more than I did. And it just means that next time we'll uh, we'll have a little bit more idea of what's going on and a little bit more money going in, so maybe we'll be able to uh, buy some upgrades. But yeah, big failure, big failure. Okay, well, uh, with that, uh, yeah, we definitely didn't get any money from the encounter, uh, so we're going to have to pay attention to that in the future and, and not follow it down but we're not going to give up we are definitely going to retry that uh, but that will be next time so thank you very much for coming along everyone i do hope you have enjoyed this as always if you have enjoyed it be sure to give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live otherwise i'll see you next time for another episode of gloomhaven guildmaster See you soon.